I'm Diana from Dolly Clothing and I'm going to teach you how to make our bag from our bag kits and if you've just bought your bag kit congratulations because it's our first one and we're really really excited so when you unpack your kit you will have these pieces there's two facings your choice of bag colour corduroy um, the bottom of the bag here two strap pieces a pocket and your D-rings for your straps. Grab your pocket and your instructions and we're going to do step one. By the way, um, all the things that we're going to talk about, like double fold turns and French seams, there's a glossary here in the instruction booklet. Um, so I will explain throughout the video, but also we have got a sort of a backup of info for you there. So the first thing we're going to do is the um, double fold turn, which is the pocket here. So a double fold turn is what we do just generally on, on hems. So it's the first fold is always about one centimeter and the second one can be another centimeter if you want, or we're going to do two um, here on our pocket. Okay, so we're going to top stitch this um, edge here best thing is to top stitch it if you can as close to the edge so it doesn't sort of flap up so I'm basically I'm looking at the fold almost through the the eye here of the presser foot that's how close I am there's no need to back stitch at this point so just straight down there So I've done my top stitching. We're now going to just press um, around all these other three edges. So that's our pocket now just ready to top stitch onto our bag. Go and grab one of your corduroy pieces and find the drill holes. You can see them on both sides, the right and the wrong side. So it's entirely up to you whether you want to sew your pockets, your patch pocket on the outside or the inside of your bag. So when you have found your drill holes, I'm going to sew them on the inside actually, decided. So uh, match up the top edge, place your pins somewhere where um, you can leave them in while you're sewing. Now when we sew pockets on, um, as it says in our uh, instructions, we want to sort of reinforce this corner. So we kind of start upside down and sew a rectangle. You might want to make your stitch length a little bit shorter. Now we're going to turn lots of corners here, so it's just worth mentioning about needle down when you're turning corners and then foot up. Now if you're only needing to do two stitches or three stitches here and your machine's a bit jumpy, you can do it by hand. So that's what I've done there. Again, needle down, foot up, and then we're on the straight edge here. So straight down here and again, sew as near to the edge as you can without obviously falling off the edge. It's easier to see because we can see the green and the denim contrast. And when you get to this corner, again, make sure your needle's down as you turn that. And I'm just going to wind that by hand, make sure I get in the right place. Turn there and then finish off the rest of the pocket. I'm just finishing up my pocket here. I come to the other corner. So again, I'm going to do the rectangle just to reinforce that edge. So coming up to that corner, winding the machine by hand, unless you've got a really fab machine that goes slow. I think I did three stitches the other side, so I'm going to do three across there and then finish on my, going back on myself. And then a little back stitch here just to finish that off. It's worth mentioning here as well that um, choose your thread colour um, quite carefully because and when you turn your bag over you're going to see your pocket stitching which is a really nice feature but if you're a bit nervous about your stitching um, obviously use a colour that um, you do or you don't see. So take the base panel which is this 
uh, weird shape here. This is going to form the bottom of the bag and your um, two top panels are going to be attached to this edge and this edge. We're going to use a French seam here because the seams inside the bag we want to be nice and finished with no frayed edges. So with a French seam you um, put your wrong sides together first. Just seems all wrong but it's right. Now make sure that you um, attach or pin um, that is going to end up that way up so your pocket opening will be there. So wrong sides together. This I'm going to start with my the, the side that I put my pocket on and then I'm going to stitch and again we've got how to do a French seam in your instructions. I'm going to stitch um, five mil along here. So I've pinned my wrong sides together and I'm lining up, actually it's kind of with the edge of my foot, I suppose, my five mil seam. Um, so I'm going to go straight along there. I'm going to need your iron to hand as well with this, it's going to help a lot. I'm going to press this back so it's right sides together so that this seam is right on the edge. Press this seam over to one side. That needs to be nice and flat, but now I'm gonna turn this over and make sure when you're pressing it that this is really open and not hasn't got any folds in it at all. Okay. And then we're going to fold the right sides together and make sure that this is right on the top of my fold as I iron that. So a lot of ironing, but it's worth it. It really is worth pressing. Sometimes I cheat and I always regret it. So one centimeter seam allowance, and that will um, hopefully encase all of these raw edges. That's the point of your seam allowance. Um, your French seam, sorry, um, it's nice and tidy. So if you've got a sewing machine with the markings on, use your one centimeter um, marking. You'll know you've, you've gone a bit further over because the first time we stitched, we did uh, the used up the edge of our foot for our marker. And this time I can see quite a bit more on the other side there. So I know that I'm going to um, encase all those raw edges in there. There we go, gorgeous. So it looks really lovely on that side and on the inside, we haven't got any uh, raw edges which are gonna snag on all your bits and pieces you put in your bag. Grab your other um, corduroy panel, whether it's uh, the yellow or the red or the blue, and just remember that um, our corduroy has a nap, which is what I call the strokey, the strokiness of the fabric. So make sure that you get your matching uh, nap. So if I stroke this, it's kind of going softer that way. So you need to make sure that this one is going in the same direction, which it is. Match this up, wrong sides together. And where you've got your um, French seams here, it's getting a bit bulky. So just fold one up and one down, I think, and that's gonna reduce the bulk as you stitch this together. So I'm just stitching up the side seam. I'm going to do a back stitch here because this is going to be the top edge of my bag so it needs to be really secure. And again we're going to go down here, 5mm or the edge of your foot. Now things are going to get really bulky and your French seams are going to be quite big, but that's fine. So we've left enough fabric. We're coming up to our... Um, join here so I've got one of my seams remember going up and one going down just so it's not too bulky but make sure that the green where it meets the denim uh, does look the same all the way around so make sure your machine is happy to go through that go slowly and then right down to this bottom corner here so I've pressed that um, and now we've got right sides together now and I'm going to do the second stage of my French seam down this side seam.
Again, here we are on the uh, second row of our French seam on the side seam and it is getting quite thick here so just go slowly. Um, when you get to this bunched up seam I'm just going to make sure the needles down lift up the foot and kind of ease under that seam as we go through it. Give your machine a little helping hand if you like. There we go. If you want to use a denim needle, by the way, um, for this bag, you could, because they do really do slice through denim. They're amazing. And either that, make sure you've got a nice, thick, slightly thicker needle. Get that stitch there. And that's our side seam done. We're getting there. Go and do the other one. There we go, we've done both our side seams and now we're going to deal with this bit here, which is going to be a boxed bottom. So another French seam, so we need to get our wrong sides facing each other. So turn the bag right side out. Don't worry, I know it looks complicated, but we're nearly there. Um, grab these corners and kind of turn it into a box like that. You'll start to see how um, this looks in a minute. It's going to really make sense, I promise you. <laughs> okay, so just bung a pin in there just to hold it. You see that? And then grab the other one. So you're kind of like opening a bag of crisps in a way. Uh, do you see what I mean by that? So I'm just going to put a pin in there so you can begin to see how this is looking. Yeah, makes sense. So another French seam. You're going to be a total expert by the end of this bag. Again, bumpy bit over the seam here. Now rather than finish this off, um, I'm going to do the other side so I don't have to turn the bag the wrong way round again. I'm just going to now get this one and sew this one at the same time. Right, I'm really going to hold your hand through this process because <laughs> it's a bit, it looks a bit strange at this point. So we've stitched our um, five mil French seam. The bag is the right way round, but we need to finish the French seam. So we're going to turn it to the right sides together, which means the wrong way round. And then um, you can see this now starting to take shape. And then we just have to finish by stitching our final bit of our French seam across there. Do my back seam there, my back stitch, sorry, because that's going to take a lot of um, wear and tear. Gorgeous. That's your boxed bottom there. It's great if you can get the seams lined up on the side seams, the colours. 